So I grew up watching some Veggie Tales, like a lot of us here in the U.S. and you know probably across the world. It wasn't a super religious household, you know. We were Christian, you know, ended up being baptized Mormon. We'll maybe get into more of that later. Uh, it wasn't a super religious household though, but we had our fair share of religious content, like the Veggie Tales. And uh, one of my favorites growing up was Bible Man. Uh, go check out Scott Kramer's video on Bible Man awesome YouTuber. Um, but I especially loved all the silly songs from the Veggie Tales. During the holidays, we would get into the spirit by getting out the Veggie Tales Christmas special. Welcome, and this is the second flick in the 12 flicks of Christmas here on Geekborn. On a special Sunday, we're obviously covering the Veggie Tales, the toy that saved Christmas. And uh, if you haven't seen it before, I recommend going and watching it. We're going to go ahead and get started. So we start by seeing Grandpa George, who is telling a Christmas story to his little granddaughter. Back in the day, he used to deliver mail to a town who didn't get Christmas. Now, if they got Christmas, they just didn't understand the true meaning of Christmas. The kids ended up seeing this advertisement for a toy called Buzzsaw Louie, who is a dangerous carpenter figure that has a full-on buzz saw that comes out of this dude's hand. Like, there's a little figure. And he has a buzz saw that comes out of his hand. <clears throat> Fully functioning. Really crazy. Um, and he tells you what Christmas is all about. Getting toys. Uh, of course, this ad, super manipulative. The kids end up running out after seeing the advertisement, telling their parents that they need to go get this toy. <laughs> And he knows that Billy's got more toys than you. Uh, one of the toys came to life as he heard the sayings that he was programmed to say. And he ends up singing a short song about how there has to be more to Christmas. It's not just about toys and, you know, getting all the things that you can. Of course, the toy, Louie, ends up breaking out of the toy factory. And instantly, he falls right off the cliff and into a snowbank. This is about our 10 minute mark through the episode, and we get our silly song with Larry. And this is a song called Oh Santa, where Larry goes through and sings while he's waiting for Santa to come. Meets a few other wacky characters along the way. Uh, but we end up going back to the show. We see Larry, Bob, and Junior. They're sledding down a hill. Of course, Larry and Junior get out of the way, but Bob ends up crashing. And this is where we get one of my most quoted lines as a kid. I wanted to play Mousetrap. You roll your dice, you move your mice. Nobody gets hurt. Uh, the three of them end up finding the Buzzsaw Louie toy. He tells them that he's on his adventure because he has to find the real meaning of Christmas. Bob claims to know someone that's really smart. And it turns out that it's Grandpa George that he's telling us this whole story. They ask him what the meaning of Christmas is, and he ends up reading them a story about Jesus being born in the first Christmas. Then he tells them that Christmas was about giving and not receiving, and it's also about Jesus. Uh, the kids, they want to spread this message, of course. They just learn this message about what Christmas is supposed to be about. They want to go spread it with the world. Of course, they've got to spread it by Christmas, and this is Christmas Eve that we're on. Uh, they decide that they have to break into the toy factory because it's a commercial came from the toy factory. There's probably a way to make a, make a commercial in the toy factory. So they go through, they make a message on a commercial, get it spread out there, and everyone is happy. Except for the guy who created the Buzzsaw Louie toys. Of course, his name is Nezer. Nezer, being the guy who created the toys, ends up seeing the commercial, and he and his army of penguins, yes, penguins end up storming the tv studio he captures the kids and buzzsaw louis he ends up tying them up on a in a sled in this weird bob sled style delivery system that nezer has set up and he gets ready to send them off 
to this place where the bridge is out. But everyone who saw the commercial from town ends up coming to save Bob and Larry Jr. and Buzzsaw Louie. One of the kids even gives Nezra a present, hoping that that is what's going to help him feel better, because she knows that giving is going to make her feel better. Um, but this ends up making Nezra accidentally hit a button, which sends all of our heroes down towards the outbridge. Nezra decides that he's going to get on a sled, though, and try to save those guys, along with his army of penguins who are there to help. Louis ends up using his saw to free everyone, of course. He uses the rope and ties a lasso, and they are fine. But Nezer is still heading down towards this outbridge. He falls down off the cliff. Louis and the penguins end up forming a chain, though, and grab Nezer and collect him at the very last minute. Grandpa George ends up coming along and saving everybody from the bridge, picking them up. Louis almost got rid of his saw because, you know, it's dangerous as hell. I don't know why he still has it. Uh, well, he used it to make furniture, apparently. Um, and that's it. And it ends up being the best Christmas ever. Now, I'm going to have to say that it's definitely a lot of fun to go back and rewatch a lot of this stuff. Especially some of these specials that I haven't seen in so long. It was a super quick watch, only about 30 minutes long. And if you don't mind the Christian message, I totally recommend you going out and watching it. Now, oddly enough, I have heard... That in other countries, they don't practice Christianity. They have actually dubbed this without the Christian message and just left it as a Christmas movie. About a toy who saves Christmas, still somehow should look more into that. It just seems super interesting. But, you know, I feel like for the 30 minutes, it's super fast. Put it off for nothing more than just the nostalgia. I mean, if you got a few minutes, or you got a little while to kill, definitely recommend putting it on. Next week, on Monday... Holiday Movie Monday, Flick 3, we will be covering another film about a toy, Jingle All the Way. And just remember, if someone's a born geeky, you have a good one.